need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. In QuickBooks, you can enter checks directly into the QuickBooks Write Checks window. When you enter a check into this form, you can see address information and easily allocate the checks amount between multiple accounts, if necessary, at the bottom of the Write Checks window. This form also corresponds to the check entries made within the register for the selected checking account. To write checks in QuickBooks, select Banking from the menu bar, then choose the Write Checks command. That will then display the Write Checks window. Start by selecting the checking account from which the funds will be withdrawn from the bank account drop-down at the top of this window. Next, decide whether you will be printing this check or whether you will simply be recording a check or other electronic withdrawal transaction. If you are recording a check that you have already written or recording an electronic withdrawal, simply enter the check number that was issued into the check number field or you can enter your own code for checking withdrawal transactions that lack code, such as an ATM withdrawal. Otherwise, if you intend to print this check at a later point in time, check the Print Later checkbox that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window. Then enter the date of the check into the date field or select the date from the field's calendar date selector. Then select the name of the payee from the Pay to the Order of drop-down. Now the payee's name and address information, if entered, will then appear in the address area within the check. Then enter the total amount of the check into the dollars field. Now once you've completed the upper portion of the write checks window, assign the amount of the check to one or more of the accounts in your company's chart of accounts by using the expenses tab in the lower section of the window. To do this, select the first account to which you want to attribute the amount spent from the first row in the account column. QuickBooks will attribute the entire amount to that account shown in the amount column. If you need to split the total amount of the check to multiple accounts, then simply change the amount shown in the amount column to indicate how much of the total amount of the check to attribute to the selected account. You then repeat the process of selecting the next account from the next available blank line under the account column, and then entering the amount to attribute to that account into the adjacent amount column. Once you've distributed the total amount of the check to all of the correct accounts, click either the Save and Close button to save the check and close the Write Checks window, or click the Save and New button to save the check and then leave the Write Checks window open so that you can continue writing more checks. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.